pre-recording. All right. So what did I write about? What I wrote about was that in Greek mythology, right? I said that all human beings, right? When we're born, we're born as a four-legged creature. One, two, three, four-legged creatures with one, two, three, four hands and one, two, three, four eyes and etc. And we were so powerful that humans were so powerful that the gods got really jealous, the ancient Greek gods. And what they did was they split us in half. They split us in half and made us into two two-legged creatures. One two-legged creature and one two-legged creature. And we're forever trying to find our other half. So we were, you know, one big human thing. And then we broke, got into two two-legged creatures. And when we find our other half, so we get united with that person, we each find our true soulmate. And we'll be so strong because of our love that will be stronger than the gods. Right? And then I said that all human beings, they are born with a key and a lock. Right? So this is Melvin. <laughs> This is Melvin with a key. Oops, that's Melvin, a lock. Melvin, you, you look mad. Yeah, Melvin, this, you, I'm you mad. Because, mad. Yeah, because nobody filled in their Microsoft form. That's why I'm really angry. Okay, so this is Melvin. <laughs> this is Melvin with his like <laughs> lock and key, right? Look incredibly yeah. fat. Excuse me, I'm just a circle. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a real. All right. I know you look chunky. <laughs> okay <laughs> so the the lock right symbolizes my heart and my potential right and the key symbolizes my personality right if you find a person whose key unlocks your heart that means all the best things inside of you will come out and then you become an incredible person and i said that when your key fits into someone else's lock you will make them a much better person and then change the world right i look like daddy pig from peppa pig Wow. <laughs> okay. So Melvin. I, I said that's ex that that's how you know. Um I said that that's pretty much what you're trying to find. You're trying to find someone whose lock key will open our your lock. Your key will open up. Eric, I don't have to say this, but you have to keep your microphone muted. Unless I'm asking a question, please stay muted. Yeah. So that's the, what I said. So instead of talking about an actual key, I talked about the symbolic meaning of a key, right? I said that key, and I related it to like true love. Now, as a marker, when they're reading it, they're like, wow, this kid is still in like primary school and he's talking about true love and like with key, right? It's a very important, like very mature topic. Most of the kids were talking about treasure hunts, while this kid has a very deep understanding about the world. Do you guys understand? So what you guys need to do, if you want to be creative, is you you should not, don't talk about the literal image. If you see a key, don't write a story about an actual key. Do you guys understand? Talk about what a key could represent. So for example, um, I think I told you guys last week, uh, I'll give you another topic right now, right? I'll give you another topic that we can practice. So let's just say the topic is paper, paper. I'll give you guys, um, oops, that's, that's not an aesthetic bubble. There you go. Hey, that's more beautiful. Yeah, I'll give you guys three minutes to think about a story that you could write based off paper. Now, remember rule number one, don't talk about the literal image, okay? I'll give you three minutes.
Is that time, Devin? Yep. All right. Let's hear some ideas. Could you just do a reaction so I can see? Melvin? Yes, that's my name. Um, can I? Yep. Yeah, uh, you have to react, react. You can't unmute yourself and do it. So, because it's unfair for the other people as well. So, I see that Saria has put a reaction up. So, Saria, go for it. Tell me your story. For paper. People cut, people cut off trees. And people cut trees, yeah. And they learn how the people, uh, other, other wise men treat um show them how to how important the trees are how they provide how they give us um, lots of stuff including paper mm -hmm. interesting interesting okay now world rule number one don't talk about the literal image right so because of that um, that would not get a high mark, but I'll, I'll give you an, uh, does anyone have a really, really story that they want to share? Prashant? Me. Prashant? Uh, Arjun? Um, my story was about, so, when, when people, people used to be really dumb, and what do you mean all the... Dumb? Pardon? What do you mean used to? Like, in the olden days. The people are still not dumb? Yeah, well, they were dumb. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just joking around. Yeah, go on. And then, um, it, uh, the other sp species used to um, think that they were really dumb and then they didn't know how to do anything until one man created paper. Mm -hmm. And then from then on, the... Um, the other species uh, were knew that humans were really smart, and then they obeyed. The, they obeyed humans. Interesting. Okay, so I'll just uh, thanks for everyone else who put their hand up. So Garrick and um, Arjun, I'll take your stories for the next one. So paper, I'll give you something that you could write about. So one of the stories that I wrote, that I would write about for paper, would be something like, think about the power of paper right paper is literally just like a physical object right it's just it's just you know random things like it, it's just made out of wood it's so it, it doesn't have a life to it right but think about how impactful paper has been when you want to pay for something what do you pay with paper right paper currency when you want to write a contract right for example when you want to buy a house what you write it on a paper contract when you want to start a war what do president sign off Paper, right? When people want to pass laws, what they write it on? Paper, right? When you want to, when you graduate, when you graduate from university, what do you get? A piece of paper that says you're good, right? So people's life has pretty much revolved around paper. For example, for me, I'm studying in uni right now, right? So I'm studying so I can get a piece of paper, which helps me get a job so I can buy some more paper. And using that paper, I can buy other things. Okay. Do you understand? Right, so I might not write a story, but I'll write and talk. I write a like, for example, I'm, the story that I might write about is my own personal life. So I'll say that when I was young, I you know I was growing up in India, and I my family got a magical piece of. Guys, please be quiet. Okay, Yuri's iPhone. Please don't unmute yourself. Thank you. Unless you have a question. So when I when I was young, uh, when I was in India, my family got a magic piece of paper called a visa, right? And that meant that I could come to Australia. When I came to Australia, I wrote on a piece of paper, wrote on a paper, I did the gates test, right? So I got to go to first mod. And then at first mod, I did another, I wrote another piece of paper. So I got into um, uni. And then from there, I started teaching and you know we print out heaps of paper. I don't know. I'll talk about how paper has changed my world and changed my life or throughout the different stages of my life. Do you understand? So do you see how yes. is a story about paper? Like is a story about a piece of paper? No, it's a story about me, right? So it's my life story, 
but it's talking about how paper has changed my life, right? So the example that I gave in last week's class was salt, right? Be like salt. Salt can, you know, salt is incredible, right? Salt is delicious. If you have, you know, you, if you put salt on your food, it makes it delicious. Um, salt can go into everywhere. It can penetrate into anything, right? It, it goes in, like when it gets into water, it goes all around the world into, you know, your cells, your bodies, everywhere. Salt is incredible. Um, and what I was saying was, if you make a dish of food, right? If, if you make any, any dish, so for example, uh, let me ask, uh, Garrick, what's your favorite dish? My favorite dish is noodles. Noodles, right. When you or eat, nachos, I don't know. You need noodles, right? You need salt. But you're not eating noodles for the salt, correct? So a little bit of salt makes everything taste good. Similarly, your story should not be about the literal image. But the image should have an important like part in the story. Do you guys understand? Like the story should yes. be, the story should be like pushed forward and be made really well because of the image. Um, but the um, story should not be about the image. That way, you look unique. You're answering the question by talking about the image, but you don't have a story that's the same as everyone else. Okay. How would you make a story out of what you just told us? Of which one? The paper thing. Naman, did I oh. the paper? Are you turning on paper? The paper story. How would you make like a story out of like you talking about how paper has affected your life? Oh, essentially like this. I'll just say that, you know, in the beginning that I was in, you know, India, I got a magical piece of paper. Then, so your life story, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll say my life. Well, obviously, it doesn't have to be fully true, right? You can make it up if you want. So I can just say that, um, I don't know, I grew up in Mexico, and then I got a piece of paper to go to America. And then in America, I got a college degree, and then I got a job. And then, you know, I can have my beginning, rising action, climax, middle, end. You just work with what you get like that. But that was a rough example, Naman. Obviously, that's not like a full story. But that's what I mean by um, don't talk about the literal image. Do you guys understand? Yes. 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 Rule number two yes. that we give out is be Structure. realistic. Be realistic. Your story must be realistic. Now, the reason is this. There's a very famous quote, and that is, real life is crazier than fiction okay i think it was just life is crazier than fiction do you know what fiction is yeah arjun yes, yes. what's fiction arjun it's not real yeah, it's not real, right? It's like made of stories. It's just imagination, right? So the quote is real life is crazier than fiction. So think the reason, there's two reasons I want it to be realistic. Reason number one, making up a world of magical creatures is one, it's very time consuming for it to be good. And secondly, it lets you make very, very easy um, story decisions. For example, Anytime you want to finish up a story, you can just say, oh, uh, and then the, he said the magical spell that killed the demons and then he ran away, right? It's way too easy to just use your, mag like use fiction to end the problems in a story. It makes the story writing very lazy. Do you guys understand? Yes. If your story is realistic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> know why people read stories why do why okay why do human beings right as a species like it's incredible if you think about it right humans love stories like we have books about it we have movies about it we have songs about it everywhere we go there's a story even advertisements right all advertisements are stories why do humans love stories so much it takes them away from what they actually like do interesting right it helps them go into a different world what else There's like an evolutionary like, reason why humans love stories. And the reason is that it's, it's kind of like entertainment for humans. 
Uh, you guys know that I have yeah, a, you guys know that I have a dog, right? For Kobe. Right? No, we never knew that. Oh, okay. So I have a, a little puppy called Kobe, right? Kobe doesn't know that chocolate is bad for him. I know. If, so if I put chocolate in front of it, would he eat it, right? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Right. What? Right? Humans, yeah. we know that eating, let's just say, um, poison is bad for us. Or bleach. Drink, drinking bleach is bad for us. We know that, right? How are we able to communicate that with each other? Through stories, right? We say that, oh, there's this one time this kid called Naman drank bleach. And ever since then, you know, he lost 50,000 brain cells. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. So stories help humans yes. learn about mistakes and make their life better, right? Without having to go through all the different problems. Do you understand? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, awesome. So that's why stories are so important. So if your story is realistic, if it's based on real life, for some reasons, humans will love that much more. Now, I know that everyone loves fictional stories, right? Like Harry Potter or Percy Jackson, things like that, right? Because it help, uh, lets us escape reality. But the best stories, like the stories that win awards and like prizes and stuff, they're usually based on real life. Do you understand? Hello? Didn't Percy Jackson like win like number one New York bestseller or something? Yeah, bestseller just means that that a lot of people read, lots of people read it. I'm talking more about like literature, like Nobel Prize for the Nobel Prize for literature or for English, right? Or there's who decide that? Sorry. How do people? How do people? How do so, people decide um the Nobel and, Prize? So they have a judging com committee based off experts in that field. So for example, physics they'll get leading physicists to come together for um, what's the other topics that they have. For biology or medicine, they have a bunch of you know, experts in that field. Similarly, for English, they have experts come in and taking a look at it. Got it? So be realistic. The other benefit of being realistic is that it also makes it more unique. Now, what I mean by that is you can write stories based off your own life experiences, right? I know you guys are very young, so you haven't lived a long life, right? I mean, I'm very young, I haven't lived a long life. My life is really boring, as you guys all know. All I do is just, you know, uh, wait till tuition happens, and then I come tuition, and then once tuition's over, I just sit in my chair, just staring into the, you know, darkness until next tuition class starts. But, um, by the way, that was a joke. Remember what I said about jokes? I make a lot of bad jokes, and you had to go, ha, 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 ha. So yeah, that was that was a that was a time when you guys go ha 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 ha. Thank you. Yes. Ha 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 very funny. Ha 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 Ah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So you can talk about your own personal life experiences, right? For, like all of you, for example, have. Okay. Have you guys ever. Shut right? up. Right? You guys have all fought with your friends at least once in your life, sort of thing, right? So you can write a story about that. So back to the paper thing. Maybe you guys both want, like, they're, they're, for example, oh, I'll tell you my life experience, right? So talking about Percy Jackson, when I was young, right? Oh, this was so annoying. When I was young, when I was young, I love reading Percy Jackson books, right? And back then the Percy Jackson books came with, uh, oh, sorry, it wasn't Percy Jackson. It was an other like similar monster. But the Percy fight. Jackson's my favorite series. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when? Never. When did I ask? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. So when I was young, uh, there, there was this book series, right? It was very similar to Percy Jackson series. But at the end of the book, there used to be these playing cards. And every time the new the school would order new books, right? I would run to get the books. But the other guy called Jonathan would always get the book before me, right? I don't know how he gets it. Maybe like a spy network in the school. 
where he knows the book comes first or not. He always gets a book before me and cuts the cards out, right? And it led to a point where I got so annoyed. I legit would like stay. Like as, as soon as I get to school, I'll just wait outside the library. And as the school was finished, I'll wait outside because I wanted to get the book. And in the end, we kind of had like a mini argument about, a, about that cards, right? So I can, that's a piece of paper. So what I did, what, I can write a story about that experience, right? So I talk about paper. It's not about the literal image. The story is about me and my friend fighting about something silly. It's realistic because it happened in real life. And because it's based on my life, not many other people have had the same experience. So do you see how it's already very unique? So that's why being realistic is a very important rule. All right. When? When? Get screwed, Milton. I, I, I did it. Uh, so, so I did this when I was in year five. When? In year five. When did I ask? Sure. Wow. You just use your oh own risk. Goodness. Yeah. Oh my He's, God. Melvin's raging. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm very, very like angry right now. Wait, who, who did that to me? Just who, who just did that? Sahis. Me. Oh, Sahis. <laughs> Looks like uh, me. Right, I'm just joking with you. All right, last rule. Last. That was so funny. <sighs> Wait, isn't the don't talk about the literal image and be realistic in like the same rule? Because then the next two are structure and grammar. No, 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 no. So this Seven. is all. Yeah. Was he your friend or a bully? Oh, he was a friend. <laughs> the friend that turned me on cards, playing huh? cards on the books. What? He's a friend that cuts out your favorite type of um series. Yeah. Did you did the library actually allow you to cut out the cards? So basically, it was first come first get. So first person who show up to the library will get it. Oh, so it was oh, allowed, but you had to be first. Yeah. All right. Did, and lastly, did you ever get the cards? Never, bro. I was so depressed. I was so so sad. Like legit. I don't know. You have no idea. How but to... didn't you just like wait outside the library? How did he get there before you? Exactly. See, you that's exactly right. Maybe like, he I, I legit think he might like a quotation. He was like paying the librarian to like you know get the you know special. You know, okay Maybe he was sleeping in there. <laughs> All right. What's the last rule? What's the last rule, guys? Does anyone remember? Structure. Don't talk about the literal meaning. Oh, we just said that, bro. That's rule number one. Structure, grammar, or structure. and punctuation. Punctuation, uh, grammar, and yeah. Never let your video down. Happy moral. Light is on. Punctuation, oh. spelling, Davis, um, Don't say the first thing to talk to your mind. Light is on the topic. Sorry? Okay, one person at a time. Don't talk about the topic. You need them. Okay, just. Yeah. The last one was. The story must have a message or moral. Yes, your story needs a message or a moral, right? Because yeah. that story yes. is all about education, right? So you can learn from mistakes. If your story has a message, it's automatically way better than every other story, right? Right. Yeah. So your story must have a message. Okay. I just, Melvin, I just saw your mom. That was my dad. Oh. Yeah. Um, so were my parents, right? And like, I think you, you, you guys know this as well. Like, I think Indian parents, they just never knock. They're just like, they're going to walk in and just like, like, oh, it's very, it's very fun. So the, and the best thing is, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen this in class as well. They know that I have to eat like every single like day, right? Same time. But my mom, she always like, after she finishes work, she's like, Hey Melvin, where are you? And I'm like, Mom, for the past four years I've been doing tuition at the same time. What do you mean where am I? And every week. You've been doing tuition for four years. I thought it was three or three. Sorry, sorry. The box is this big and the chip is this big. That's why. Huh? Yeah, Ashwin Hershey. Yeah. All right. Um, three years. My bad. My bad, Melvin. All right. Finally, you're storing this a moral. Okay. Is that your room? 
This is my room, yeah. It looks like yo. It looks like the what do you call it? You know when you put your laundry? Messy yeah, room. Room. It no, room. I, I would show you my room, but it's really messy at this moment. I have a lot of folds I need to close. It looks like the place where you put your laundry in. Mm -hmm. Interesting. No. All right. See the oh my god. So these are the three rules you need to be creative, okay? By having these three rules, it makes it look like your story is <laughs> so even though your story might not be um, any different, it will make it look like you're unique and you know you have a really good story. So these are three rules that you need. now. Um, before I move on to the next things, does anyone here have any questions from last week's homework? No, I wasn't here last week. Oh, okay. Me. Uh, this week, this week. I'm talking about the uh, reading comprehension home. I have one question. You can ask me. For the reading comprehension. Go for it. Um, for the number question. For the question number, um, I can't find the question. Number five. Number five for which text? Uh, the do not go gentle into that good night. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I love that text. Down to 2021. Off exam. No, to PDF. Okay, let's see. Okay, number five. The question was... Okay. I'm going to share a screen now. All right. So this is, this is the poem, right? Did I go gentle like a night? Now, does anyone remember what uh, the poem was about? It's about it said it was about, about how men. different types of men pass away. No. Yeah. Uh, fighting for it's about a, it's about fighting a dude. For it's... Like about a so dude who's begging. It's about a 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 dude who's begging. It's like about a father. Mm -hmm. Um, he was like dying. Really, like dying? <sighs> Sorry, yeah, yeah, go on. He was dying, and then what happens? What did he say to the dad? Like, um, <laughs> like. To like fight for your death. Exactly right. Exactly. Good job. Adwin, is there anything else you want to add on to that? That's me. What I think. Me. 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 Yeah, Adwin, go on. It's basically about the author is like um telling the dad not to like die and like fight against it. Yeah, perfect, right. So basically the poem is saying that, you know, even in death, you should not just be like, oh, I'm going to die, Meh, take me, right? You have to like fight through it. You have to say, no, like I, I'm going to go strong. So in this, it says there's four types of men, right? So in the first, it says, so wise men at their end, no dark is right because their words had forked no lightning. They do not go gentle in that good night. So what they're saying is that these smart men, right? Smart men in real life would be like professors or like um, teachers or leaders and thinkers, right? They know that you should die. They know that to die is to be is to is a good thing, right? Because that makes life worth living. Even though they know that, they don't want to go gentle into their death because they realize that they didn't have a big impact. They realize that even though they worked really hard, their life they still were not able to achieve the things that they wanted to do, right? Because they're worried good men the last way by crying
decrying how Bryce their frail lead might have danced in a green bay. The good men who do good things, right? Who, you know, look after their family, go work and things like that. They also don't want to go gentle that good night because they realize that they have that good of an impact or their, their, the things that they did were not that important. That's what's like, you know, frail deeds. Wild men. Wild men are people like, um, let's see. Wild men are people like Johan and uh, Techno Pro 1 and Techno Pro 2, right? All Why? They, do, they, play me. They, they, get, they play games and they party all the time and, you know, they go fishing and camping and, like, you know, swimming all the time, right? They don't God. really work working hard and things like that. They enjoy their life all the time, but they learn too late that they wasted it, that they didn't do anything useful with their life. So the wild men also don't go gentle in their good night. Okay, so these are the different types of men and what they do. So the question was asking, men are separated into four categories in this poem. Which type is most likely to understand that death is a natural part of life? Which one? Wise men, right? Because it says wise men, they know the dark is right, but they still don't go gentle at night. So do you understand Namazish? Namazish, does that help you? Loyola to Namazish. Over. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Do you guys have any other questions from the homework? Yes, I have one more. Eight one nine three zero eight five one five four three. Miss Hesna. Hansa. Hansa. Hansen. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Go on. What's the question? How do we do question number four? Four are the same thing. Same poem, same poem? Yes. Uh, the words are for aligning. So what I was saying was that these wise men thought they want to change the world, but the things they said or things they did didn't have, you know, didn't change the world much. So their opinions and ideas had no weight. So that's kind of correct. Their opinions and ideas are askew. Askew means um, away from normal. Like skewed, I think it usually just normal. Their opinions and ideas have a strong effect that they have done good. Their opinions and ideas have light weight, right? So, be, so that's correct. B is correct and A is correct. But the one that's more close is A. No impact because it does no lightning. Like, you know, it didn't really change the world. And Namazish, for the final question of the day. I need help on number three. Number three. The phrase it's, do not go gentle into a good night is closer to which of the following. Do not take, do not let death take you easily. Yes, that's right. Fight for life, fight for a life worth living. Yeah, that's correct. Except that night befalls everyone. No, well, obviously night comes. So it's definitely not three. So it's one and two. So the answer is A. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Welcome. Hand sanitizer, do you have any more questions? <laughs> okay. Joby uh, Patigal or Saria. Saria. What's up? Ask me a question. You're still muted, Saria. How do you do question number eight on the third story? Third? The third one. Oh, wait, wasn't this the one we did in class and asked me for it? And then I went to the class. Do you mean the William Blake one? Yeah, William Blake. That's the easiest. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a bit hard. But, okay, what's the movie called? So, longing. Do you know what longing means, Saria? No. That's so long strong desire. Longing is... Again, longing. Strong desire. Longing is when you have, like, a, like a desire. Like, you, you really long to meet someone. So, for example... You know, you might have a friend who moved away, right? Who moved away really, really far away. So you have a longing for them that you want to see them again, right? What's mellow? Sad story. No, Mellow's not, like dull. No one, just like, you know, just, you know. Um, not harsh, rich, and something Jar like Jarring. Jarring is unpleasant, Chuck. 
Yeah, it's, it's <clears throat> something's very like in your face of thing, right? So, for example, when uh, uh, Naman realizes that he has no friend, <laughs> jar to him, right, Naman? No. So jarring is something that's very shocked and shockful and like right in your face of thing. Frenzy, frenzy is like how you feel when you realize that there's a sale at DFO, right? You guys realize that the say sale at the Tommy Hilfiger shop at the DFO, and you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we gotta go get it, we gotta get the new new uh, jumper, right? That's frenzied. It's when you're like so hyper, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that supposed to state you or us? Huh? Was that supposed to state you how you react to that? How I react to that? Melvin. 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 Frenzy is the meaning of what happens when I see. When you see? You're muted, Johan. You're muted, Johan. Uh, Frenzy yeah, is me when I see new stuff in the shop. I beg my parents for it. When, 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 last time. when oh, 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 that's so good. Who said that? Me again. Oh, so good. Good, 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 good. All right. Your mom's back. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, oh. Melvin. In this poem, it's not frenzied. Well, definitely hey, not frenzied. Melvin, your mom came back. I know. Thank you. Melvin? Yes, yes, Godfrey. Um, what are, are we going to do anything after this? Uh, no, I just have a few things to talk to you about, though. That's all. Okay. okay. So, frenzied is when you get really hyper. Jarring is like when it's like right in your face. Mellows is calm, right? So definitely not frenzy. It's not jarring, I would say. Mm, it's definitely not long. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is talking about like it's it's going very straight in your face about the re reality of the world, right? How things work in the real world, like work in the world. So it's not longing. It, it's not mellow. It's not frenzy. As I say, jarring is the closest answer. Wait, Melvin. Yes, Tanya. What does slander mean? Slander is when you say something that's not true. For example, um, slander would be like if I say Tanya is smart. Oh. It's not true, oh. right? Oh. <laughs> I guess. Oh my God. What is it? Like? <laughs> Melvin, did you just take food out of your mouth? I was eating really quickly, and then like Tanya asked me a question, and then I was like, I'm trying to answer the question, so I just like, I was like, just took it. <laughs> Did you spit it onto your hand? Yeah. The food. Ow! Oh, oh my god. That is just disgusting. Are you Ew. Ew. Yeah. What oh is that? What are you eating? Do you... Do you... It's disgusting. So I had like in my mouth. I was like this. And I threw it I was like, oh, spit it out. And I was like, ah, well. When Melvin. What is that? All right. Now, do you have any more questions about the homework? No. No. I don't. I have one. one. Yes. Uh, I have, I have one. one last one. I have one. Mm -hmm. I have one. I have one. Aaron, go for it. Uh, so, you know, in the Narnia text, huh? the Narnia text, mm -hmm. uh, you know when it says the festoons? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, I know. I know. So, okay. are we allowed to look in the dictionary to search it up? Mm. No, unfortunately not. You're not allowed to look in the dictionary. Um, can we leave the meeting if we don't have any questions? Yeah, I'll just quickly answer a few more. I just say a few more things before you guys go. First thing is, please, 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 please upload your homework onto the Microsoft link, right? So we can keep a track of it, right? And also Melvin. Help. Yeah? Uh, I actually have a dictionary like right next to me. That's okay. Okay. So 
please, please, please upload it so we can, um, you know, so we can help, you know, um, help to make the class a bit better, right? So for example, you guys told me what you guys like about the classes so we can make it a bit better and things like that. Um, we also got um, some reviews, for example, that you didn't like. So obviously we want to like know how we can improve and things like that, right? So um, please, please make fill it in. And also it helps us track if you've done the homework or not. Do you guys understand? So make sure you do that. Um, what else do I need to tell you guys? Um, the writing topic for next week is this. Classes. When? Classes. When? Classes. 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 Yeah. When do we do it? We are we'll not do talking. it for next week. So you can oh. Yes, Shabira. when did I ask? I asked. You asked right then. Shivaga? Shivaga? Yes? Yeah, what's your question, Shivaga? Um, like Manny said to us that the topic was my country. Right, if you guys say, if Manny gave a different topic, that's fine. But the rest of the students do glasses, okay? All right. Um, Arya. Are we supposed to like write the text this week or next week? This week. So you submit it this week, but we give you feedback the week after. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have one question. Yeah. For the reading comprehension. Go for it. On the um. Under the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Yeah, last question for the day. Let's go. For number um seven. Mm -hmm. Which of the following is included in the hills? Right. So C and D is kind of correct, but C is the most accurate. It clearly says it here that it's going to a valley, but the other one is kind of close. So in here. This is a little river down, a little lower down the river. There was another small river which came into a small valley to join it. So that's why C is more correct. Yeah. Hi, when? I'll see you when? Guys. Uh, catch you later. And could I get, one second, could I get a few people to stay back though? I've seen a few people to like, I have a few people to stay back. I have a question. One second. Um, one second. Did you just lower your brightness? Could I get Stephanie and Eiffel to stay back? And one more person, I'll say. I'll say who it was. Everyone else, you guys can leave now. Yeah, could I get... Bye. You know, yeah. Bye. Bye, Bye, Mr. Tom. Bye, Melvin. Bye, Melvin. Bye. 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 Bye, Mr. Tom. Bye, Mr. Bye. Bye, Mr. Take your subscribers. Bye, Bye Melvin. Bye, Bye Melvin. Bye. I'll subscribe Bye. to your Bye. channel. Please leave Bye. Bye, Mr. I'll subscribe. Bye. I'm subscribing to your channel, okay? Thank you, thank you. See you, subscribe. See you. Bye. Bye. That guy changed. Bye, that guy Mr. Tom. <gasps> that guy is that guy. Tim is, oh my God. Why am I not leaving? Hello? Why am I not leaving? Okay, can I get... Bye. Bye, Phoebe. Melvin, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, unfortunately, I, I have to end the class now. Would you... Can you ask me that next week or in class next week? Okay. Melvin, I just subscribed. See ya. See ya. Bye, Darren. See ya. See ya. All right. So, Indra, Eiffel, and Stephanie. Okay. So, uh, I just I have a question for you guys, right? So, I was going through the um, reviews, right? And you guys said, uh, I think one of you said uh, two out of five, and the other one said three out of five, right? Can I ask you how I can, like, how we can make it better? So, if you don't want to say it out loud, you can send it in the chat. Just tell me, like, 
yeah. like why it was uh, two or three out of five and how we can, what we can do to make the class better for you. Hello? Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if there's anything that I can do, right, to make the class much better for you, just let me know. So could you just send it in the chat? Yeah. Eiffel, can you hear me? Hello? Eiffel? Huh? Uh, mommy, what did you give the right? What did you score the ladder? <laughs> what did you score the ladder? Why? And ask him what can I do to make it better? What did you score the <laughs> Hello, Emily. All right. Anyways, if, if you don't have anything on top of your mind, Stephanie, that you want us to like do better, right? Just let me let me know next lesson. But um, yeah, if there's anything that I can like make the class better for you, just let me know, okay? Okay. All right. Here you go. All right. Bye.